Republican who just won a seat on the Houston Community College Board of Trustees. Congratulations, Dave. He wanted to win very badly because I guess he believes he can represent his constituents better than anyone else. Now, many of his constituents are African Americans and Dave is a conservative white man. But since he really wanted to represent the needs and concerns of his black constituents and was worried that they'd reject his lily white butt, Dave came up with an inventive direct mail marketing campaign. In it, he led voters to believe that he himself was black. He printed up pieces of mail that featured the smiling faces of many African Americans. No white people were pictured at all. Dave chuckled when he admitted that he just grabbed pictures of smiling black people off the internet. Underneath the people, Dave had written, please vote for our friend and neighbor, Dave Wilson. On another piece of direct mail, Dave wrote the headline, endorsed by Ron Wilson. Ron Wilson is a well-known former state representative from the area who also happens to be black. So Dave was giving the impression to voters that he was endorsed by a respected African-American, when in reality, the Ron Wilson that Dave was endorsed by was his cousin, a white guy in Iowa. His opponent, Bruce Austin, a black man who held the office for 24 years, says Wilson went to lengths to hide the fact that he was white. And Wilson doesn't deny that. When confronted about tricking the people he wants to represent into thinking he was black, he laughs. He openly admits that he's full of crap and goes on to say that all politicians are full of crap. He was quoted as saying, every time a politician talks, he's out there deceiving voters. That might be the most honest thing a politician has ever said. His opponent is trying to get a recount, but it's not looking good for him. So it looks like Dave Wilson's constituents are stuck with his deceiving lily white butt. But the part I like best about this is that the crux of the story is simple. If you're a politician, you're a liar too. It's that black and white. Tonight, let's talk about that by following me on Twitter at The Resident.